Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech fan. And it is time for another very interesting product review and it is the M5 Stack Core 2 microcontroller. A few weeks ago I was contacted by Banggood and we already had some cooperation with some 3D printing parts and they asked me if I'm an Arduino expert too. Well, I told them that uh, I'm using a lot of Arduinos with my students here on different projects in university where I work, but I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm only a mechanical engineer. Well, they told me never mind, they will send me for a review. Okay, so here it is. But first, uh, allow me a few minutes to explain a little bit simply also what, what is it. Uh, let's start the story with Arduino. Arduino is it's more popular uh, microcontroller. It's open source hardware, so a lot of companies can produce, manufacture the same board. Uh, and we can attach to it different sensors, display, uh, card reader, and then it can read the values from the sensor and display the values on, on, this, uh, on the display or maybe on the serial monitor on the laptop. The biggest uh, strength of the Arduino is the development software, the Arduino IDE. Now, the M5 stack uh, Corto is based on ESP32, that's also a microcontroller. So I read the description that is something like Arduino on steroids, but uh, they are completely different. They have completely different hardware structural capabilities, built-in features, memory processing, communication and simpler. But what is common where they meet actually is the software, the development environment, the programming language, the libraries. Imagine that, uh, that ESP32 uh, has now attached a lot of sensors, it has touchscreen display, and that's how we got uh, this uh, M5 stack core 2. Let me tell you a few, uh, read a few features. So it has, uh, as I mentioned, ESP32 base, built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 60 megabytes uh, flash, 8 megabytes uh, PS RAM, built-in speaker, power indicator, vibration motor, capacitive touchscreen. It has a slot for the memory card. It has small built-in 6-axis IMU, microphone, and uh, the programming platform is the UEFLOW MicroPython and for me most important the Arduino IDE. Now let's see what's in the block box. Uh, I think it has some demo software on it. We'll go through it and then uh, I'll try to upload one my own code to see how it works. And of course I will use the Arduino IDE because that, that, uh, it's familiar for me. So this is the box outside, all-in-one microcontroller, and we have some features here on the back side, but let's see what's inside. Open here, this is a device and uh -huh, we have some cable here. USB Type C, and this is the device. So this is the touch screen place for the small card. And this is the power button, USB plug-in, and the back side we have some uh, specifications about the features and uh, the pins. Let's turn it on. SD card find failed, so there is no SD card inside. Touch to skip. Okay, so this is the demo software. It is worth to go through it at least once and then uh, just to check, I know, main feature, but does they work? Okay, so the, the speaker works. Uh, let's turn it off. Sound, okay. Uh, motor. Aha, uh -huh, it's vibrating. TFT test, probably. So probably goes uh -huh, R, uh, through the RGB colors, so red, green and blue. And you can notice if there is some minor problem with it. And the black, of course. Okay, I will turn off the sound, so I don't want to that beep sound now. 
Okay, so we have here the clock. So here we can see the power, now it is 3.7 volts inside and you can see the battery is maybe to 50%. And uh, then uh, okay, here is the, the touch uh, part here. And if I touch any part of the screen, uh, it, should show, it should show the coordinates where I touch it. And if I touch these buttons, you can see here the color. So this is just for testing. So you have it here the coordinates and the color of the which button is pressed. Mm, okay, let's see the Wi-Fi. Searching the Wi-Fi and it found the two, two networks which are here on, on the university where I am now actually. What else it has here? Uh -huh. A timer. Okay. Hmm. Pictures. There should be a pictures here, but they're not. Okay. So how can I go out back? I think. <laughs> uh huh. Fine, so uh, if I touch, ah, it already reacts the MPU button, then we have this bigger and it can, uh, you can see that this sensor is working properly. Some kind of gyroscope or something like that. And uh, the microphone is also working because you can see here the equalizers. Uh, uh, as I'm talking, it, it uh, processes the voice and uh, it's visually here. Uh, what else we can test here? As the card, no, it doesn't react, but it's now inserted. So it looks like this is just a really a uh, basic demo software, which which. Uh, which needs a bug fixing <laughs> but of course you don't buy this to, to use this uh, demo it's as i mentioned go through it once to see those basic features are working Let, then let's try to create some code i don't have tools now to open this the, i need small allen key but here in office i don't have it but i'm just very curious i think this looks like a magnet yes so you can place you can nice uh, some application place it on the fridge for example fridge magnet mm, let's turn it off let's open this module I don't have any tools here So these are pins for extension and uh, this is nice module and I'm not sure what is this, uh, is this a microphone or something like that. Okay, so I, I want to open to see what is inside but uh, did, did that footage I will record at home and then I will cut it here but you can see it now. Three hundred and ninety milliampere hours. And there I can see some protection IC. So if you, I want to replace the battery, it's not easy because uh, I have to find the battery with this uh, protection for overcharge or discharge or similar. So this is how it looks like it's from inside. But uh, let's close it. Actually, we, we don't have to open this. Okay, and now let's uh, see how can we program this through the Arduino IDE. I'm now on the m5stack.com website, store core. And this is the one, m5stack core 2. 
documents and Arduino tutorial. Quick start and let's choose the development environment, so M5 Core 2. And I'm using a Windows, so I will scroll down a little bit. And uh, first step is to download the CP2104 driver, and I'm using, as I mentioned, Windows 10. Let's unzip it. Okay, somewhere on the computer, and now, now let's see. I have the 64-bit installer. Okay. Next, I accept. Next, finish. Okay, so the driver is installed. Next is to install the Arduino IDE. I already installed it, but you can download it from arduino.cc website, and uh, here it is. But I will just start mine, which is already installed. Okay, so here Arduino RDE, we have to go to the file preferences and we have to change this additional boards manager URLs. So this one here and change to the following. Okay, tools, boards, board manager, M5 stack okay install and after maybe one or two minutes it's installed and I can close it now and let's see is it here Arduino boards and it should be here M5 stack core 2 here it is mm, I, I can plug in the M5 stack core 2 I have this USB-C very short cable and it's started sketch include libraries and uh, manage libraries M5 Core 2 and library for M5 Stack Core 2 development key. See, okay, install. Install, we can close this. Examples M5 Core 2 basics, touch a code which want to try, speak. Well, let's just upload it and it's uploaded and what it says uh, press left button to list a uh, ding dong let's do uh, just quick customization hello Igor Press left button to listen to Ding Dong and let's upload this one. The uploading process is quite slow, so now you can see the text. Well, I, actually, I hope you can see it. I'm not, not sure where it's focused. And of course, the battery is, is approximately 60% charged and it works without, without cable. Let's see another example. Examples M5 Core 2 Basics Touch. Yeah. Uploading is done. Okay, so it's a, just a touch screen test to see how to write uh, the small code. So it's just a touch screen test, but uh, I can see now forget let's open the serial monitor I didn't test it yet to uh, serial monitor and let's see it should write some text uh -huh. okay I think the bowl is not correct let's maybe ah yes okay
And now let's try the most famous example in Arduino and that is a blinky. It will just make the LED blink. First let's prepare the hardware. So this LED I want to blink and uh, the longer leg is the plus and the shorter one is the minus. So the shorter one will be connected to the ground, this blue wire. And the longer one, the plus, over this 220 ohm resistor will be connected to the pin number 33. So on core 2 I will use this port here and uh, here you can see the, the pins. So this is the ground, 5 volt, 32 and 33 pins. So uh, to the ground and to this uh, pin number 33 I will connect these wires. So blue goes on the ground and green on 33. So the ground is connected to the minus of the LED and the 33 pin is connected over the resistor to the plus of the LED. The hardware is ready and uh, first I have to modify the code and to upload it. Now before I upload it I have to do some modifications. From pre previous example I know that I have to include the M5 Core 2 library here. So I will not use the built-in LED on Arduino but I will use the external one which is connected to, to the pin number 33. Int LED pin equal to 33. Okay. And of course I have to replace everywhere that I'm not using LED built-in constant but my LED pin which is 33. And one more thing I have to add here on the setup and that's the m5.begin. This is also I saw found on previous example code. This code here. And uh, let's try to upload it. So the blink is running, but I want to do just small modification just to print something on the screen. And for this, I will uh, use the previous speak code. So first I will include uh, this function, display in it. Copy and I have to add it before the setup. Okay. And now again, go back to that uh, speak code. And here I, I will use these few lines which will uh, call that the display function display uh, init function set the text color to red go to the cursor 10 and 10 coordinates and just write some text and i will edit at the end of setup here for example but of course i want to change this text hello world i am blinky and I, I, I will just upload now and see the results. And as you can see, so this is my process, how I learn uh, any new platform. So, so slowly, step by step, do some small modification and follow the changes. And now let's see some external existing code. Let's try to install some external code, which is not on, on the, in the examples. So I found here on a GitHub, it's its calendar. So go to the code, download the zip. I will just copy then unzip the folder to my computer. And then file open. Here's a calendar. Okay, open it. Mm, let's try without any modification, just to upload to the core too. Almost done. The compiling is very slow, so you have to be patient. And here it is. I hope it's visible. Ah, let me take this off. Ah, it's a, it has a very small calculator. Well, let's try to set the current date. I like this calendar, but the problem is that it used the clock from, from the device. And uh, as you can see, the date and the clock is completely incorrect. It is 2021 now. 
so uh, I will just adjust the clock and then re-upload re uh, this uh, calendar. So to set the date, so I will use the uh, another library. Manage libraries. And search for this one. I to C B M eight five six three R T C by Tanaka Masayuki. Okay, let's install this one. I to C B. Okay, let's search for that one. So file examples. I to C. This one and set. And here we can set the dates and the time. So it is 2021. Uh, Upload. Nothing happens, maybe it was uploaded in the background. Let me upload the calendar again. And it's working. And my final thoughts about the M5 Stack Core 2 microcontroller. It is fantastic little product. Incredible how many things are placed inside this box. As I mentioned, it is based on ESP32 uh, chip. It has a touch screen display, my, uh, micro SD card reader battery inside, speakers, microphone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so the possibilities are given for incredible DIY creations. But my opinion that, that I wouldn't recommend this to beginners. It is much easier to start with Arduino and uh, later maybe to uh, use the ESP32. But if you are already familiar with using the ESP32 boards, in that case probably you can use the most of the possibilities which are given with this uh, Core 2 microcontroller and to create incredible DIY creations. Uh, this was my quick review of, the, of this uh, small product. If you want to buy it, I will place an affiliate link uh, to Banggood if you decide to buy it there, if you want to support me. And I hope uh, these informations were at, at least a little bit useful to you. Thank you for watching and I hope you will follow me to my next video. Bye!